Um, I rolled like an 18 on dexterity. Yeah, that's retarded. Like, that's crazy. For my ranger. So, but, yeah. uh, so there's two, uh, we got a couple more. Um, we're done. Uh, it's the episode two was really long, so yay. Jabroni Jabber Podcast says, in you guys' opinion, who's the wiser man, Qui-Gon Jim or Captain Picard? Picard. That is like a layup. It's definitely Picard. I mean, Qui- first of all, Qui-Gon Jim dies. Can you stop saying Jim? <laughs> Did I say Jim? You said or Jim. Jim. I'm thinking of Kirk. Jim Qui-Gon Kirk Jin. or Captain. Yeah, Qui-Gon Jim. You say, it sounds like you're saying Qui-Gon Jim. <laughs> Wait a minute. Is it really Jim? I thought it was Jim. Jim. I always thought it was Jim. It's not. I thought it was Jim. You're wrong. Mandela effect again. It's not that's, Mandela effect. You're just incorrect. No, no that's no. I've always no. I've always it's, believed that it's no, Jim. No, that is not what, what the is man, happening. Oh my god, no, that no. is no. The Mandela. That's not how I. I don't even. No, want, I don't it's even always want, been no. Jim. It's always been Jim. It Listen hasn't been to Jim. me. That is not what the Mandela effect is. What and I it? don't want to explain the whole entire Mandela effect thing. I know, but it's something's wrong with this. This is I swear to God, it's always been You're just Jim. incorrect. Uh, well, anyway, it's Captain Picard because Picard is... Uh, Picard's fucking still alive. And look at all the things he's done. I didn't know he was named after alcohol. I thought it was Jim. All right, well, this is spelled J-I-N-N. That is not how you spell... I can't Jin, believe this. You've just alcohol. my whole world is like 19 years of believing that that was that he's Qui Gon Jim. Jim. It's Jin. I, I've known that since the first time I saw the movie. Oh my god! I had I. <laughs> what is happening? Um, Michael Keane says Mandela effect would be like Lucky Charms, for example. Everybody remembers the shapes, the shapes of Lucky Charms or whatever, but now they're not shape. You know, like the marshmallows. No. Mandela effect often. You're has not to- even letting me finish. So how do you know that that's not what it is? Mandela effect often has to do with spelling of words. Yeah, but it can be also associated with like how you remember things, just how you remember them. Yeah. Not the spelling of just. The and spelling I remember words. it being Qui Gon Jim, not Jin. You're just wrong, though. But you didn't even let me... F- you should just look up what the Mandela effect is then since you didn't let me explain it. Go ahead. No, you know, I'll just look up the actual definition for you. That way you don't interrupt me again. Yeah, but if you look up examples of the Mandela effect, it's all similar to what I just said. It's all similar to the Qui-Gon Jim thing. You know? So how is this not like the Mandela effect? I Because it's not. It's just not. 50 examples that will blow your mind of the uh, Mandela effect. Let me look at them. This is where, like, by the way, this is, like, textbook exactly where my whole learning disability comes in, where it's, like, I know things in my brain and I I have the information. (coughs) I have a hard time relaying it to you. Look, Bernstein Bears is actually Berenstein Bears. So how is that not different than Jim and Jin? Because I believe it also has to do with the collective of, like, everybody remembers it one way. Well, but we don't know yet if everybody does. Maybe some people are now going to write on, like, oh, my God, Joe, I thought Dude, it was I really too. hope they do. Because <laughs> I really think you're in for a surprise. He doesn't say, Luke, I am your father. It's the same thing with Star Wars. And then there's sex and the city and sex in the city. Life is like a box of chocolates. Life was like a box of chocolates. So, like, I feel like this is the same thing. J.C. Penny is actually J.C. Penny with an E.Y. Like, I'm, I, that's like Qui Gon Jim, Qui Gon Jin. Isn't that? How is that not the same? Because I think it has. You don't know the collective yet. I think it has to do with the mass of like everybody. It's because when you ask somebody something, whatever, when you bring it up, everybody's like, no, it is like that. Everybody seems to be on the same page. Yeah, but me and you are sitting here, and I really strongly believe that. So then I said Mandela effect, and then you said that's not how that works. But so, like, you can never say that unless you go get a mass I just, sample. I first. know that there's more to it. I just have a hard time explaining it to you. There is more to it, but not. But no, there's still, I believe I'm correct in saying the Mandela effect there. Because for me, I, I remember it a different way, which is a prime, like the whole thing about Mandela effect. And all these examples are similar. See, this is where it comes from. 
The Mandela Effect is named for South African statesman and civil rights activist Nelson Mandela. When he died in 2013, news of his death stirred up some surprising and mysterious memories. People around the world reported that they remembered hearing of his death decades earlier, in the 1980s. Some even vividly recalled watching his funeral on television. You see, you've got a mass of people remembering something one way. Yeah, but I mean, (laughs) when you talk about paradoxes and things like that in time and space and um, alternate universes, you know, there can be some people... It has to do with the multiverse theory. Whatever. There can be some people... There can be a lot of... There can be some people that remember things a different way. And then there can be mass amounts of people. But the ones that stick out more are always going to be the ones with a mass amount of people saying that they remember it a certain way. But who's to say that there isn't, like, individuals who remember things a certain different way because of the multiverse? You know what I mean? I'm not even real, man. I'm a different human, man. <laughs> um, okay. Here's the last question. You ready? Leah. I'm just reading about it. We'll do a whole show on the Mandela Effect. Who is Leah's least favorite person in the community? <laughs> it's Michael Keane's question. Hmm. 